precious blood of Jesus Christ. Save us and the whole world. Amen. The message of the 14th of December, 2001. Time, 12 midnight. Venue, my altar of reparation, Aka. Topic, son, these unfortunate sinners are the cause of my agony. In my prayer during this hour, I saw a vision of the holy agonizing face of Jesus Christ who calmly said, My son, I recall with great agony the cause of my three falls under a heavy cross as my birthday anniversary approaches. I recall the eternal damnation that awaits the great multitude of unfortunate sinners who would be damned for their sins. Even now, great is the number of unlucky sinners who are lost forever. If my people will know and turn back to me, I will be consoled. Son, these unfortunate sinners are the cause of my most painful agony in the garden. I sweated blood because of them. I saw the multitude of sinners who will still get lost after my sacrifice of blood. I fainted because my hope had gone. These weary thoughts filled my already wounded heart. Whom then did I lay down my life to save, since all these souls will be lost? What need is there for me to pour out my blood? What need is there for me to lay down my body, to be tortured? Son, these thoughts weighed me down. I fainted. I sweated blood for them to be saved, as I carried my cross to Calvary. The enemy showed me a large number of my lovers, those who will suffer much for my sake and will later fall and be damned forever. Their number is too much. I remembered how much they will suffer for my sake, the rough road they will pass, and how they will give up just near the gate of heaven, the gate of salvation, and of rest. Their future agony weighed me down. I fell the first time. The angel who consoled me at Gethsemane called me, Emmanuel, do not despair. See the little doves who shall benefit from your death. They shall help to strengthen the faith of these fallen lovers. I saw you and was consoled. Your names, which I heard the angel call, motivated me to carry my cross and continue my journey of salvation. On the way, the enemy made me see my holy church at the point when a large number of my flock will pull out of its fold to establish false churches. Seeing the large number of the worshippers of these false churches and their eternal damnation, my hope ceased again. I fell the second time. There, under the cross, I heard the voice of the angel calling, Emmanuel, take heart for the sake of your little martyrs who will pour their blood for your sake and for the sake of your church. Wake up, look at your little martyrs, they will suffer for your church. Through their holy sweat and blood, your church will be refined. Through their martyrdom, the lost sheep will come back. I looked and saw the victim souls like mine and took courage. My journey continued. Before I climbed up the hill of Golgotha, the enemy showed me a large number of my lovers who will be lost because of the sins of the flesh. Their number was three times that of the ones I saw before. Worse still, and more painful, I saw those hopeless lost souls coming from my priests and those who will dedicate their lives as religious. These groups of my lovers are my future hope of chastity in the world, seeing these lovers of mine who will join the world of sin and be damned. I collapsed in agony and shame. I fell the third time. The same angel of comfort came and called me again. Emmanuel, look at these little lilies of yours. See, many of them will be martyred for the sake of chastity, as their blood sprinkles the rotten world. It will turn to be the seeds of virgins to occupy the earth. Through the sufferings of these little lilies and their holy tears, your priests and religious will return to chaste and holy life. Take heart, Emmanuel, for the sake of your little lilies in your bloody way, wake up. I looked and saw my little lilies and took courage. I continued my journey of salvation, on Calvary. The enemy made the Jewish soldiers strip me naked. This shameful act, combined with what I saw during the third fall, multiplied my agony. In great agony and sorrow, I offered to my father the poor sinners, who will be lost due to the sins of the flesh, using the prayer I taught you. The prayer against the sins of the flesh, as it is titled, Son. See all I suffered for the sake of the poor sinners who will be lost. See, you are my only hope and joy.
Son, I hope I will not miss you. May I never miss you. May these little souls which bear much of my agony remain for me to possess my everlasting peace and have my consolation. My victim lovers, help me to call back my lost sheep. I say help and call sinners back to me. I hope you will respond to my call for help. This is the only gift I demand from my lovers. For my birthday, anyone who offers me this gift as my birthday gift in the years to come will obtain from me the grace of perseverance. I will give him my peace. Son, remember that I am the agonizing Jesus Christ who called you to be my consolers. I love you all. I bless you all. Immediately the vision passed. Precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Amen.